Hey everyone, happy Thanksgiving. I'm Yankel, I'm the chef at Butcher Box, and what we're gonna do today is we're gonna learn how to brine, roast, and carve turkey. It is one of those things that mystifies some people, people struggle with it. Cooking turkey is literally my favorite thing to do. Before I was a professional chef, I looked forward to cooking Thanksgiving every year. It's something that I change a little bit every year, I sort of learn from the past. Uh, so we're gonna learn what I'm up to at this point. Um, everything that I've learned cooking Thanksgiving for 25 years. So brining. The general solution is a cup of salt to a gallon of water. We're gonna supplement a little bit. We're gonna add maple syrup and cider. So those are gonna be elements of our liquid and then we're gonna use ice to cool the brine down. Bring the liquid up to enough heat to melt the salt. And that's all we need. Salt, maple syrup, apple cider, some rough chopped onions, whole garlic, bay leaf, whole peppercorn, fresh rosemary, fresh sage, fresh thyme. And now I'm gonna add ice to dilute it and to cool it down so we can add it to the turkey. I don't know about you, but around the holidays, space in my fridge is at a premium. So I found a better way to keep a brine turkey overnight. I got a cooler that will fit a good sized turkey. Just to make sure it's fully submerged. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seal the bag, throw a little bit more ice on top. We're gonna dress our bird. First thing I'm going to do is salt the cavity just a little bit. We've already brined it, so we don't need too much, but it'll just add a little bit more flavor. What I'm gonna do is cut up an onion, rough chop. I'm not a huge fan of putting stuffing inside of the turkey. It slows the cooking time down. It won't cook as evenly. Also, it's blood orange season, so be sure to pick up some blood oranges because they are absolutely amazing. We're gonna go right into the cavity. A couple of orange squares, some onion, and grab some fresh herbs. We're also gonna sit the turkey on a bed of the same ingredients, so it really captures all that flavor. A little bit of sage, some celery. The next thing I'm gonna do is make a bed that we're gonna roast the turkey on. So I've got some onions already cut up, a little bit of celery. Don't worry about my fingers. It's been a while since I had a cut. You know, they teach you early on how to properly cut things quickly. But you really don't learn until you cut yourself. Just gonna throw a little bit of fresh herbs there in the bottom. Rosemary, thyme, and sage, they're the classic combination. Classic for a reason, they really just marry with the flavor of the turkey so well. Got some garlic. Pretty much any good cotton string will work. Lay across again. And then we're gonna just tie it back to the legs. What I want is to flash the turkey with really high heat right off the bat, really evaporate the last of the moisture from the skin, but then I don't want it to overcook or get too dark. So I'm gonna have this tinfoil hat that's gonna go right on top of the turkey about 20 minutes into cooking. Nice big piece of tinfoil. Basically shape it to the turkey, form fitting. Put that off to the side. Now what we're gonna do is just Add a little bit of olive oil to our butter and brush it all over. Butter and oil brushed. Some fresh ground salt, fresh ground pepper, just a little bit of stock to the bottom of the pan. This will also give us a base for a delicious gravy later. Add a little bit of moisture. And we are ready to go into the oven. So I've got this beautiful golden crisp. I don't want the surface to get much darker than that, so that's why we're gonna cover it up. And 
we'll take a look at it in about an hour and a half just to make sure everything looks good. And right now you can forget it, go have a glass of wine or you know whatever else you have to do for the holidays. But wine is good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That looks excellent. Next thing we're gonna do is take its temperature. I want 165 degrees and rising. It's at the temperature I want it. I'm gonna let it rest for a while. The longer the better, and you'll really get a moist and succulent bird. We've let the turkey rest for a little bit. Now we're going to carve it up. First thing I'm gonna do is remove the string. I'm gonna start with the thigh and the leg. And what I'll do is I'll just cut right along the seam. Beautiful thigh and leg. And I'm just gonna separate thigh from the leg. And then what I'm gonna do is take off the wing right at the base. Next, I'm gonna separate the breast. So I'm gonna cut right along the seam, right in the middle there, just to the right of it. And then I'll just ease my knife in, sort of along and underneath, separating from the bone every step. My goal is to try and keep as much of the beautiful crispy skin on as possible. And there we have. beautiful roasted turkey breast. And then I would simply do the same thing to the other side. So there you have it. Hopefully you've learned the best way to make a turkey, especially if it's a ButcherBox turkey. Here at ButcherBox, we're thankful for you. And thank you so much for letting us share your holiday with you. I just wanna wish you happy eating and a wonderful holiday. Thank you.